and welcome in the First Reaction TV. My name is Jay Mart. So today we're going to watch a little bit from Real Time with Bill Maher with Winsome Sears and James Kerchick, where they discussed the shooting this past week in Tennessee, and they also discussed the different topics of the Second Amendment and gun rights. So please enjoy the video. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you at the end. So... <clears throat> We had a story this week, a tragic story, unfortunately, uh, but it combines every element that divides this country. Um, you had a shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, you had, it was at a Christian school, a Christian school for, I guess, uh, under high school, but, you know, it was definitely a Christian school. Yeah. Uh, the shooter, we've had so many shooters, but this one was trans. Uh, and there was a day of vengeance planned just coincidentally, a trans day of vengeance plan it has since been canceled for five days later. So all this is in the mix. Before we get to all this stuff that's difficult to talk about, could I just say one word about the cops who rushed in? Because yes. after Uvalde, the I feel like... The heroes who rushed in. Yes, they are heroes. Exactly. That's the point. It's that... And that's why we're not defunding the police. Because no. who are you going to call when they're breaking into your home, Bill? Right. That's but, right. No, I, I'm... All... <laughs> I, look, I've said some things about the police they have not liked in the past, uh, and I'll say it again. I mean, the, there are lots of issues with the police. Like, somebody was here just recently and said 99% of them are good people, and I said, as I always have, we just don't know that. For good people, there's an awful lot of tape of them being bad. But, okay, I think most of them are good. I've also said I don't understand why all of them have to fire every bullet in their clip every time one of them is scared. Well, lots of problems with the police, but... How about this? And they've gotten a lot of shit in the last few years for something that the vast majority of them don't do and didn't do. But when they do get one right, it would be nice to hear from the people who usually shot on them once to say, okay, you got this one right, and you did something I couldn't do, which is rush into a... Okay, that's all. So just to re-champion what they said there real quick, the police did do a hell of a job. They did an amazing job. They simply just did their job. Now, if you're not too familiar with all the details in the shooting in Nashville this past week, there was a school shooting in Nashville, and from the time the officers arrived at the school and the time that they downed the shooter, it took them four minutes. Now, just to put that in comparison, the very controversial school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, from the time the officers arrived and the time that they entered the classroom, it took officers 77 minutes. So even if you normally aren't on the side of police, it is nice to say, yes, thank God these guys were there. Thank God they ran towards the gunfire. Thank God they got this over with. And unfortunately, even the police has turned into a political matter or a political identity. So Bill was basically saying that. He was saying, look, I normally say bad things about them. I normally shit all over them. But today, I'm going to say, you guys did a, a great job. And you can really tell a lot about someone's character whenever someone can do that. And they can put their political beliefs, their political identity aside just to say, good job, guys. Yeah, because, you know, your, your mouth won't fall off because you said something nice about the police. Because have you ever noticed that as soon as somebody needs a cop, you know, all, you know it's, it's a totally different scenario. Right. But nope. otherwise, they, they talk ill of them. And in every profession, there are bad apples. There are bad doctors, bad lawyers, bad teachers, bad cops. Yeah, Get rid of them I know. and run with the rest. Right. Well, that's much more complicated to do, but I take your point. So the other thing I'd like to say about this is we're... The media anxiously waiting on all this information about the shooter. How about we have a, a, a blackout on the shooters and what they did? We're, we're, you know, this is... Uh, because yesterday, they feed off of each we, other. Course, yesterday was the opening of the baseball season. Now, in baseball, when somebody runs on the field, the camera doesn't show it. Mm -hmm. They don't give that person any publicity. Why can't we at least do that in this country? I don't want to hear anything about it. We know it happened. I don't want to know about, I don't want to know the, what orientation this person is, how old they are, what their manifesto said. I don't give a shit about any of it because it's just going to inspire the next one because they all feed on each That's other. That's true. The least the media could do. And what Bill's point there about the uh, baseball analogy, and this is all professional sports basically, when you're watching a football game, baseball game, if someone didn't know this, if a streaker runs out on the field, if someone runs out on the field doing something crazy, all cameras, the entire broadcast team literally cuts away and they won't show any of it. And they do that so the people doing it don't get any attention. They get zero publicity. 
And that's the point he's making and the analogy he's making to the news media. Stop talking about these people. Stop it. Stop putting their agendas out there because you're pushing it on the next person that has the same agenda and is thinking the exact same stuff. Stop it. Yeah, I said that. I think the horror of it, you know, that, that there were three children involved and then, of course, the adults and, and that lives were just taken just like that without any purpose behind it, without... Th there was no warning. There, there's a shock to your system. But once you, you set that aside, yes, um, then, you, then, then let's not keep talking about it. I don't want to hear what the manifesto is because some other idiot will come along and try to improve upon whatever that is. And I think, Bill, if we can keep, here's the thing, if we can keep people from getting on planes without guns, then surely we can do that in the school system. We can do that. We have the technology. Let's get it done. That's the first order of business. Well, well, it takes like an hour and a half to get on a plane. Are you saying that we should be doing a that? A life is worth it. If You're saying I mean, kids have should, should have children. to go through security for an hour, like, and take off their shoes no, and their belt and put they, them in the thing well, every day to go into school? I think you, know, you might need schools. armed gu armed guards yes. and there are other yes. measures that are necessary. Because, look, you're never going to get rid of the 400 million guns yeah. in exactly. this country, whether you want to or not. It's no. impossible. It would spark a civil war if you tried to mm -hmm. confiscate them all. So what I think is going to happen... And bad people will always get guns. Always. Right. That's the thing, because you know what? They're not giving up their guns. No, because they're the bad right. people. They're the bad people. Yes. Just like the drugs. So, we have a war on drugs. Right. We can't get rid of them, Bill. Right. They're still coming across the border. Well, thank God for that. But, uh, <laughs> but the wait, gun wait. thing... I really like Winsome Sears. She seems like an awesome lady. She's been really funny throughout the whole show. She's made some good points. But I don't know about comparing airports to schools. There's just a big difference there. But I understand the point she's trying to make. She's saying, look, if we can keep people safe there, we should be able to keep our kids safe. And then the writer Kerchick says, look, we're never going to be able to get rid of all the guns, even if you want to. And I think that point is correct, because Bill even alluded to it then, that look, normal people that follow the law, if they have to give their guns up, Everyone knows the criminals aren't, and the criminals won't. And unfortunately, I think this is one of those cases where when you just want to put a ban on something, it doesn't fix how sick people are. I'm a lieutenant governor. I can't let that go. Well, in this state, marijuana is legal. Well, hey, remember, I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> Exactly. And, and, and I hear we have the best. I'm just saying, I don't know. I've never touched this. Uh, you do have very good. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, Jamaican is very good. You Come on, you must have sampled some of your own supply. <laughs> no? No, no. See, really? See, most people don't realize that oh. many Jamaicans don't do that. It's most of the Rastafarians, and they do it. Right. Reach a higher level, you know. Oh, they do. They're, they're... <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a much higher level. Um, but... First of all, I don't think this is even about guns anymore in this country. You know, I saw these pictures of the uh, governor, no, not the governor, I think the congressman there in Nashville. Uh, he's, oh, there he is. This is his Christmas card. I, I mean, and you know, these are not the only ones. I, there are many Republican politicians <laughs> do that. When you put... Including, including the lieutenant governor. Is that What's right? What's that, the AR? Yeah. You're, you're, I'm you're... a Marine. I know how to use it. And Christmas? The, you know, and, and here's what, no, I wouldn't do it for Christmas, but oh. here's the thing. <laughs> here's, 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 I've had few victories tonight, I mean, but uh, I consider that one of them. No. <laughs> All right, so the only point I want to make is we live in America right now, and we're taught that we need to be tolerant, and we're supposed to be respectful towards people's backgrounds and heritages and where they come from, and that's very important right now in today's society, except for when it comes to this. So here, this is where Bill normally makes the case about how crazy people are because they have Christmas cards involving guns. And I really think this is a lot less about people being crazy and being crazy obsessed with guns, and it has more to do with their culture and where they come from. People grew up this way. People grew up with guns. People grew up shooting at competitions and hunting and fishing and doing the whole outdoors thing with their fathers and grandfathers. And, like, this is a way of life to a lot of people in this country. And if you take just two seconds to try to understand someone's background and their heritage and where they came from, you might have a better idea of why guns are actually popular and important to a lot of people.
Well, that was uh, the bigger gun that was brought. But, but listen, I got tired, and I have that photograph, because I got tired of seeing black people every time we're in the media about guns. It's always bad. We are law-abiding citizens, and we're not going to give up our Second Amendment rights. And by the way, the fastest-growing segment of gun owners, do you know who they are? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> it's women. It's women. Women, yes. Black women. Well, black women. And it was a black well, woman that said, yeah. you need a Winchester rifle in every home. A black woman in, during the civil rights and before said that. And Harriet Tubman carried a gun. If it's good enough for her, it's good enough for Well, me. it makes sense because guns are a leveler. You know, if you, if you don't have guns, then the person who is physically stronger is always going to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do not like guns. Mm -hmm. I have guns. I don't like them. It's like I always compare them to antibiotics. I never want to take one. But I'm glad they exist mm -hmm. because I'm as small as some women. Uh, and, and I may need to, to <laughs> level the playing field, you know, I mean... Uh, Let me finish laughing, Bill. Okay. <laughs> So this is where Bill admits what every single politician in D.C. actually thinks and feels. They will come out and tell you they're against guns and they hate guns and they're going to ban guns. And yet they'll spend $500,000 in private security to protect them at all costs. So while you're at home and they're trying to ban guns and ban your protection, just make sure you know that they are very well protected and safe. You might not be, though. <laughs> My point with the picture, though is that I think this whole gun debate, because, you know, there could be a grand bargain, there could be reasonable things that people do. It is not unreasonable what the liberals are asking for, which is just that the guns be harder to get, especially for the people who have shown that they may do something rotten with them. You know, th this is not crazy stuff. Uh, I think 25 states now you can carry without a permit. I mean, I don't want to live in the Old West. I don't think this but, is... Oh, go ahead. I'm just... Yep. I think it's about something else, just like a relationship fight. It's never about what you're really fighting about. It's not about the toothpaste or the toilet seat or the pizza. Oh, you mean it's not juice. you, it's me? That, that. <laughs> what I mean is, like, guns is their way of just saying, fuck you to the liberals. No, the issue it's is... just, we're going to own you. We don't like your crazy shit. You want to be crazy? I'll be crazy, too, and mine has bullets. Mm. That's what that's about. I think it's deeper than that, and I think a lot of gun rights supporters, they view the Second Amendment like the First Amendment. And that just, there are, just as there are negative consequences of the First Amendment, you have to tolerate bigoted, crazy people saying things that you don't like, because that's protected under the First Amendment. Under the Second Amendment, you have to tolerate the fact that there are going to be thousands of innocent people killed by guns every year, because that's the, that's the price of the freedom that is the Second Amendment. Now, I might not like that, and a lot of people don't like that, but that's how I think most gun rights supporters look at it. And so you're never going to... You're never going to change that. You're never going to be... Un unless you get rid of the Second Amendment, you're never going to resolve that. And you're not going to get rid of the Second Amendment. You're not going to get so, rid of the Second Amendment. See, I think this is where Bill actually misses the mark. And it's also kind of like a really perverse way of looking at it, like saying that all these people that grew up with guns and like guns and they enjoy shooting, that they're doing it because they're trying to get back at the libs. Like, that, that seems... That seems just almost outrageous and it doesn't even seem like logical or sensical but people are doing it to own the libs that just that doesn't add up i think james kirchick really hit it on the head there and he almost resides back to the whole culture part of it where it's it's heritage and culture the way people grew up the way people live their lives and how guns are intertwined in a lot of that this whole second amendment thing doesn't seem like a lib owning type of moment at all to me let, let, let me tell you, I think what most people say is that the Second Amendment is there to back up the First Amendment. And that's all well and good, too. But here's the thing. If you're breaking into my home while I'm waiting on the police to come, right. I'm going to shoot you. That's, what I, that's, that's why I have that's a That's just the way it is. I, me, too. Because it's, I'm not, you know... Yes. Uh, and that's exactly what it I'm is. I'm going to pray the, for you, but I'm going to shoot you. I'm going <laughs> to... I'll... Be, I'll I'll do you one better. I'm going to skip the prayer. <laughs> All right, so, um... I'm going to pray for you, but I'm going to shoot you. Like, that, dude, that's one of the best lines I think I've ever heard in my life. Winsome Sears was great on that. But this is where, like, Bill just absolutely confuses me, where he's openly ad admitting that he's willing to shoot someone if they break into his house and that he's glad he has his guns. 
But then he bashes this other side saying that people have guns and like their guns because they're trying to own libs. Like, I just don't get this part of Bill. And I don't, I don't know if it has to do with, like, you know, when the Christmas cards like that come out with the families and stuff holding their guns. If it's, if it's like, A, he thinks those people are showing off or, like, trying to rub it in Lib's faces. If that's how he feels and that's how he perceives it. But, like, that's not what that picture's for. Like, those people are proud of their stuff. They're proud to show it off that their family likes guns. They own cool guns. And, like, they're, you know, a Christmas card is for them and their family but i think like liberals or democrats they take it as like a personal insult but once again they're okay with having private security that carries guns that protect them and just like bill saying yeah i'm i have guns in my house and i'll shoot you if you break into my house that's okay but if you have a christmas card out there that has guns on it mm -mm. I just don't get it, and that's where they lose me with this stuff sometimes. I mean, you have to be doing some extreme mental gymnastics to be saying that people out there love their guns because they're trying to rub it in your face, but then you say you own a gun and you're willing to shoot someone. <laughs> like, I do disagree a lot with Bill, and I do disagree with a lot of his points, but once again, that's how Bill feels, you know? Like, he'll, he'll speak the truth, and he'll speak whatever's on his mind, and that's why I value watching Bill Maher. So we're still on the road to a 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you let me know what you think. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please make sure you do. Like, comment, let me know what you guys thought of the video. I appreciate you watching.